Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week, no matter what sport you're betting on. So we're going to do some NHL this week and as we head into the beginning of November, the teams are finding their identity to see where they're going to place uh, this 2019-2020 season. So we have plenty of uh, good games on tap for Friday, November the 1st. So what we're going to do now is take a look at some of those games. and. If we see here, we're going to scroll down through here on the VIP club section. And remember, if you're not already a member, please join so you can have access to these great tools to help you uh, make your picks. So we're going to scroll down through here and take a look at some of these games. Let's take a look. First, at the Philadelphia Flyers and the New Jersey Devils. So right now, you see both teams are average up. And the Flyers have won three and lost three over their last six. The Devils have won two and lost four over their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that both teams are trending a bit on the upward side. Uh, Philadelphia is at plus 13. New Jersey is at plus 7. In the head-to-head -head matchups, they haven't played yet this season. Well, yeah, actually, they did. They played one game this season. The Flyers were victorious by a 4 nothing score as the home favorite back on October the 9th. If you take a look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under, you will see that the Flyers are playing in games trending under the line slightly. Devils are playing in games trending over the line slightly. So probably best to avoid the over-under for uh, this matchup. If you see how stable the two teams are so far this season, both of them are at plus one. So both of them are performing fairly consistently with their favorite underdog status. Entering the game, New Jersey is last in the Metropolitan Division with a terrible minus 14 goal differential. The Flyers are sixth in the Metropolitan Division. So right now, I'm looking for the Flyers to probably be able to take this one on the road by a goal to push the Devils further into the cellar in the division. Let's take a look now at another matchup. We'll scroll down through here. Here, Detroit and Carolina. Detroit right now, after a great start, terrible as of late. You can see here, losers of their last six, and actually they have lost their last eight. They're dead status at the moment. Carolina, ice cold down. They have won two out of their last six. You go to the head to head matchups, you will see that last season Detroit won two out of the three games, and all uh, road teams won the games last season. So that's an interesting thing to take a look at. The power rankings indicator, you will notice here that both teams are on the downward trend. Carolina down to uh, plus 18, and Detroit, they were up to plus 22 just uh, you know a few weeks ago, now all the way down to plus 2 because of that eight game losing skit. If you take a look at the totals predictor, considering the over and under, you can see that Detroit is trending in games well over the line, and Carolina also well over, so betting the over is probably a very safe bet. Expect a high-scoring game in this one. If you take a look now at the, uh, take a look at the volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams are. Carolina, one of the most stable teams in the league early on at plus three. Detroit here is at plus one. So Carolina is performing very well according to their favorite underdog status. Carolina is third in the Metropolitan Division. Then they are four and one at home. And Detroit is the last in the division. This looks like a pretty comfortable win for Carolina, I'd say, by two goals, perhaps three. And that will extend Detroit's losing streak. Look at Columbus versus St. Louis now. Columbus is burning hot at the moment. They have won two out of their last three, although they did come off a 7-4 loss to the Flyers. St. Louis is average up. They have won three out of their last six. The power rankings indicator shows here that Columbus was at plus nine just back a little over a week ago. And now they have climbed to plus 20. And St. Louis is on the downward trend from 24 down to 14. Over and under possibilities, well, if you take a look, Columbus is playing in games trending under the red line compared to the blue line. If you look here for St. Louis, they are trending over. So again, since they are trending on opposite sides of the line, probably best to avoid the over under. Take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups. You will notice that they only played a game here on September 22nd with St. Louis winning the game 5-3. to And if you take a look at last year, you can see that in the regular season matchups, they were 1-1. One and one. How stable are the two teams? We'll take a look here. 
Ah, Columbus is at zero, so take it with a grain of salt, whatever their over-under status is. Uh, excuse me, whatever their favorite underdog status is, not over-under, this is favorite for underdog. And St. Louis is at plus two, so they're performing more consistently according to their favorite underdog status. And if you also look here, you will see that um, in this matchup, I'm taking a look at the uh, standings for the season. St. Louis is third in the Central Division, so they're pretty, performing pretty well at the moment. And Columbus is at fifth in the Metropolitan Division. I'd say that because St. Louis is more consistent uh, and they're playing at home, give them the edge and pick them to win this game in a tight contest. Scroll down through here, a couple more matchups to take a look at. The Vancouver Canucks and the Anaheim Ducks. So in this one here, Vancouver is burning hot. You can see that they have won four out of their last six. Anaheim is ice cold down. They have lost four out of their last six. The Canucks are also 7-2-1 and one over their last ten. If you look at the power rankings indicator, notice Vancouver is at plus 15. Anaheim is at plus 18 at the moment. Totals predictor. Let's see what's going to happen if we're thinking about the over and under. Well, Vancouver trending in games over. Anaheim also trending in games over. So there you go. I would pick the over in this game. It would probably be a quite a high scoring affair. Right now, Anaheim is fifth in the Pacific Division and Vancouver is fourth in the division. So it's going to be a very tight contest, probably. If you look at last season, take a look at the head, head from last season. Notice that uh, Anaheim won three out of four games, including uh, a game on the road on March 26th. Both teams are showing quite a bit of stability from the volatility oscillator, both at plus three. So what does that tell us as far as about the prediction for this contest? Well, I'm going to go with the home team in this one. This is a tight contest, as you can see in the standings. I think Anaheim will have enough to win, but it could take over time to do it. I'm going to take a one more game here. The Winnipeg Jets and the San Jose Sharks. Winnipeg is ice cold down at the moment. They have lost four of their last six. San Jose has also lost four of their last six, but they are average up. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you can see they're both about the same. San Jose 8, Winnipeg 7, and Winnipeg has been on more of a downward trend. Take a look at head-to-head -head matchups. How, what have they done against each other? Well, you can see here last season, San Jose won two out of three, and the road team won every meeting. San Jose is seventh in the Pacific with a minus 12 goal differential. Winnipeg is fourth in the Central Division. We take a look at the volatility oscillator. Notice that Winnipeg is very unstable at the moment at minus one. San Jose is stable at plus two. They are performing more consistently. So this looks like a good opportunity to actually bet on the Jets to win on the road. They are playing better overall. That minus 12 goal differential is really standing out for San Jose. So they could be a road underdog, Winnipeg. The line is not yet out, but I would go with Winnipeg nevertheless. So there you have it. Those are the matchups for this week in the NHL. It should be a great week worth of games. Happy betting. Enjoy it. And we will see you next week here on Z Code Sports System.